Welcome to the first episode of One Wingspan Above, where we discuss everything to do with Grand Effect. In this episode, we'll briefly explore what Grand Effect actually is and what regions are up to with their sea gliders. Hi, my name is Paul Dutch. Ground Effect is the phenomenon where a wing gets really close to the surface and two things happen. Drag decreases and the lift increases, which basically means the wing starts to work better and it's more efficient. So why don't we see machines that use these kind of wings and ground effects everywhere? Well, that's basically due to the fact that these machines were close to the surface where all the other stuff is. We have buildings, we have waves, we have boats, all obstacles. But also, these skim machines, we'll call them skim machines, um, they are notoriously hard to keep stable in ground effect. Think about Formula One cars that are porpoising, like the up and down effect, and um, racing boats that flip over when they hit a little wave. On top of that, they're really hard to get started. They start in the water, they have to get a speed, they have to go on top of the water and then escape the water. So every few years, there are companies that come and go, they never really go um, past the concept or the prototype stage. I do believe though, that at this stage, things just align for these skin machines. Ekorana plants, which are Russian skin machines, they were developed in a cold war. We now have global warming where we try and develop more efficient types of transport. Ground effect use or skin machines could be one of those types of transport. Regions are a new American company that are trying to develop these skin machines and they gather quite a lot of interest around the world. There's a New Zealand company who are uh, purchasing 25 of the aircraft. The first craft that Regent are developing is a 12-seater that they are calling the Viceroy Sea Glider with a wingspan of about 20 meters. It's fully electric and it skims about 10 meters above the surface. It gets airborne by a retractable waterfoil. Now since this craft is a high-wing aircraft, essentially the, the wing is on top of the fuselage. The craft flies about 10 meters away from the surface, which basically means that with the wing so far away from the surface, it doesn't actually add any lift to the wing. What it does do, it decreases the drag of the wing. So essentially the sea glider is not a true ground effect machine or skim machine, but it's a very efficient seaplane. It is currently in this prototype stage with a quarter scale model. And the quarter scale model has some interesting uh, features to it. So the scale model has got a, a foil under it, but it's non-retractable, which is understandable because you don't want to figure out how to retract it. You want to see how it fly first. And the scale model seems to have received some floats at the ends of the wings which maybe aids to um, stabilize at low, low speeds. It does add to um, increasing ground effect, which is a bonus. It's also noted that the horizontal flat surface on the tail is increased in size relative to the main wing. This to be expected as uh, the render had a very t a small, a small little tiny tail on the back. And if you look at the Ekrana plants or the Russians, the tail was enormous as relative to the wing. Note it though, that these wings for the Ekrana plants were stubby and really close to the surface, whereas this setup is more akin to a normal aircraft. We'll follow regions um, as they go along. So for now, thank you very much for watching this first episode of One Wing Span Above and make sure you subscribe so you know when the next episode drops. See you later.